Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a long-awaited vlog, to a long-awaited vacational trip with my beautiful sunshine, Sabina. Jeez, look at the gains on the shot tee. Yeah, we figured out our excursions, which is nice. Got a lot of things planned for this week's vlog. It's just gonna be one, one episode of the whole Cuba summary. So far, I really experienced what? Matt, get your sandy leg off my bed. This is my bed, but it's okay. Interesting, but. holding the thing. Can I try? Yeah. yeah. She she wants to vlog, guys. Is yeah. it heavy? So it is currently 6:33. We we're gonna go get some food from dinner. From dinner. Tuesday we got some classical music playing. No concert night. It says. No, it's classical music. Well, I don't know. Anyway, it's not gonna be that lit, Tomorrow's so we're probably not gonna stay party. long. Tomorrow's entertainment's gonna be fire. It's like a beach party. And but yeah, anyway, we're gonna get ready now and then. We're scared uh, to see some tarantulas because there's apparently tarantulas everywhere. No, there's tarantulas, but we're making sure we're closing all the doors. We're not leaving nothing open. We're not leaving anything up to chance. I'm not sleeping with no tarantula tonight. Right now we're just chilling at the beach, enjoying the time. Skies are super blue. My eyes are still trying to adjust to this sun. It's so bright. Sabina is in the water right now. I don't know if you guys can see her swimming. I'm waving to her. Let's see if she waves. Ah, she waved. Nice. Wow, first time underwater. Nice to see her in the water because she never likes to go in the water really. I definitely want to try one of those sailboats. Couple hours at the beach. Yes, there you go. Definitely got a nice tan ski going. No, you didn't. Oh my god, your shoulders are burnt. Yeah, buddy. Light wait. A light burn. Anyway, we're going to the pool. Don't block me off. I'm not. We're, we're going to the pool. We're gonna tan a little bit more there. Hit up the snack bar. Get a nice beef burger because we still gotta maintain the gains while we're out here. We learned how to sail a bit today. Yeah. This nice Cuban guy, what's his name? Alfredo? Alfredo Pasta. Alfredo Pasta, Alfredo. <laughs> taught us how to hit up the sailing. So I learned how to sail today. I'm actually pretty good mentally. I didn't try, but I got it down. the Jeep Safari. This is my Jeep. I don't know what kind of farm it is, but it's a bunch of cows, goats, chickens. We're gonna milk a cow.
go, my friend. The beach. You want the beach? Okay. Babe, you're looking hot. Thanks, you Show the camera how your fit's looking. Where'd you get it? Plug your code. Sheen. This code should be in existence, Sheen? 40 bucks. Actually, no, it's like 25 bucks. Well, she bought me a couple of things from Sheen as well. They're not that bad. I like the products that they have. And the clothes are pretty lit. Right now we're going to the beach for sunset to get some pics. I'm leaving Sabina. The one thing I do love about Cuba is I literally walk everywhere barefoot. Today we went to a disco beach party, right? We were thinking that there was gonna be some banger Cuban Spanish music. Well, there was like a couple. There was like, you know, every, every three like songs was a proper all. one. You know, all those names that I have no idea. Sabina probably knows I have no idea. Anyway, we get there. Playing Little Uzi, Future, and Drake. I don't even know. Anyway, there were some songs we could dance to, so obviously me and Sabina were shaking our booty to some. And others where we could basically just sit and hug each other. We had some nice deep you know life- they played? Congratulations! No, that's a pretty banger one. No, but they you were don't, playing. You can't dance that. They're playing little Uzis. I just want to rah, 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 body yada, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how are you playing that at a Spanish resort? Now we're gonna go get some pics at the beach because sunset's going down. Well, I think it's down already. Nah, it's looking beautiful. Oh, can we take here? Yeah, we'll take some here. this thing up in a minute we've been busy we've been very very busy recently with all the things that have been going on in Cuba Just to update you guys where we are we're in Havana Cuba <laughs> the capital of Cuba so we are currently in bamboo it is a restaurant cafe in Cuba show them around That's what Cuba's known for, all these wild, wild animals. You'll just see random chickens on the streets. Definitely a culture shock. Weird, weird but cool. So many, so many different feelings for sure. Different emotions, whatnot. So, first one way back before we left to Cuba in Mississauga. Me and Sabina were driving one day. A thought came to my mind because Everett, uh, one of my buddies, said, hey, I just got my passport done for Mexico. I got my ticket. It's an emergency passport. So they got everything super smoothly, easily. It took a couple of hours. When he said that, I remembered that Sabina actually didn't have a Canadian passport because it was expired. So I told her the same thing that Everett did that she should do. Make sure everything will be okay, everything will go smoothly at the border. She says sure. Turns out she went to Service Ontario. They said it's gonna be $250. She's like, I don't wanna spend that money right now. I'm just gonna send it with the Polish one. Whatever happens, happens. 
She said her cousin flew on her Polish one to Cuba a couple times, there was no problems. So I said, okay, whatever, I don't think there might be a problem either then. Fast forward, we get to the airport, we're checking in, we're dropping off our luggage. Guy says, sir, there's a problem. You're gonna have to sign some papers with your Polish passport. Uh, we said, what, why? Uh, you have to sign that you cannot sue or complain to the airline if they don't let you back into Canada on a Polish passport. So I'm already getting suspicious. Sabina keeps reminding me it's okay because her cousin flew back. Whatever, they give us a piece of paper, we sign them, everything's fine. We get through from the Canadian border to the Cuban, no problem. At the Cuban border control check, they're asking her a couple of questions. Hey, uh, where's your Canadian residence card or whatever because she's showing her Polish passport, obviously. And she shows her expired Canadian passport as like a Canadian residence proof or whatever. And it works, there's no problems. They let us through. We enjoy our whole week at the resort. Now comes the time where we're driving to Cuban Airport. It's our turn finally to check in with the last people. Everybody's checked in, hands the passport, says, uh, do you have an ETA, an electronic travel visa? Because that's what you need if you're traveling with a European passport or like something that's not Canadian going back to Canada. He said, sorry, no, it's expired. And then we're like, okay, w w what's our option here? He says, you can't go back to Canada. And at that point, both of our hearts drop. Anyway, we had a couple of people help us at the airport. One Cuban dude that worked at Air Transit, one Cuban lady that worked for Air Transit, everything went smoothly. Uh, they were helping us out. Uh, call the embassy. They said, we need to go to Havana and take in to the fact that we're at Santa Claire. So they say we need to go to Havana to get an emergency passport from the embassy. And we're like, okay, well, how far is Havana? We don't really know Cuba that much. I do. We check Google Translate. Translate. We check Google Maps. Translate. Three and a half hour taxi ride. So when we hear that, we're like mind blown. We're like, fuck, that's gonna be so long of a drive. Uh, the Cuban lady ends up helping us. She hooks us up with the taxi. 30,000 pesos. 30,000 pesos. Which is like $350 Canadian. We go, Sabina has to get a passport photo, so we do a detour. So realistically, the drive ended up being like four hours. Like five. Uh, the guy didn't speak English, so we were talking on Google Translate the whole time with him. It was a rough four hours. I watched some Hunter Hunter. Sabina was on Ox, she was playing some bangers. The guy didn't really dance because I guess he didn't like them. But then we finally get to Havana. Sabina's parents book us an Airbnb. Uh, and it's like a bed and breakfast. It ended up being pretty good. Uh, we're there for one more night. We're going to Verodero. 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 Not tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning? Yeah, tomorrow morning. We're going to Verodero to sightsee there. Uh, we're gonna go pick up the passport. We're gonna go check out Cuba a little bit more. Her cousin sent us some places to look. But yeah. Overall, it's been a big headache, but obviously God has a plan for every one of us and we're trusting him. Now we're gonna enjoy the rest of Cuba. All right, any last words from my boy? I hope you guys enjoyed the first half of the video of the resort, some montages, some clips, whatnot. Yeah, now um, stay tuned for the rest of Cuba. Havana, a bit of Verodero, and yeah, cue the, cue the montage, baby.